Rebecca, our director, wrote this story about these two sisters who can speak to the dead and they do these performances and then get swept up into the world of Paris um, movie making in the 1930s. So it makes this sort of connection between wanting to speak to the dead and making movies because we can communicate with the dead by watching things that were filmed, you know, 80 years ago with people who are now deceased, of course. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's interesting because Rebecca found this story about the Fox sisters and uh, Bernard Nathan, the producer, that Emmanuel's character, Corbin, is based off of and put them into the 30s in Paris, which I think was such an interesting time to kind of tie this whole story together in because it's so, it was so glamorous in this kind of time of like just having fun and, and you know, style and arts and everything, but also obviously before the war. Um, which is which is a really interesting parallel because they don't know obviously what's about to happen um, in this kind of period of you know joy. Everybody on the set was just really welcoming and like I felt really welcomed and everything and like it was just really easy to bond with Natalie and Rebecca. And yeah, Rebecca always works with like a group of friends so on the same and she's worked with the same group so it really felt like just joining a family right away. This is the first time I've made a feature with a female director and. 25 years of working. Um, apart from short films, I, I have done shorts with female directors and I've also directed myself. And I don't think anything's different. I think every director is different and every director has their very unique way of working and their very unique vision. Um, I just think that there's clearly um, lack of opportunity for women, um, particularly in the United States. So. But hopefully things are changing because you've had the majority of your experiences with female directors. I, yeah, right? I did another movie, The Dancer, with was was with uh, an amazing director, Stephanie DiGiusto, who is a female director. But I don't really feel like there's any difference. I mean, like Natalie said, obviously every individual director has their own vision and their own different style and everything that they bring to the movie. But I don't really think it's a matter of being a man or a woman. It's just kind of your own vision and your own style, you know, regardless of you know gender. I love Paris. I was born there and I go there all the time. My whole life I've gone there, you know, obviously because half of my family is in Paris. Um, so it was always just kind of the place that I associated with seeing my family. So it was interesting to see it in a whole new light as my workplace and shooting, you know, in the street a lot of the times in places that I had driven through or walked through uh, when I was younger. So it was really, it was fun and it was fun to be able to stay there for a long period of time. A lot of the times when they would dress like, um the street, like when we did the stuff so in the fun. car, yeah. it was just like being in the 30s when you just walk out and everyone is in period dress and hair and makeup and you have old cars and horses. And um, are you personally believers in the supernatural? You know, anything's possible. I don't, I don't know. I haven't personally experienced any, I haven't had any experience with the supernatural, but I think, you know, anything's possible. And some people definitely feel like they have a different, you know, connection to energies around us and everything, but um, yeah. I think it's possible. Easiest thing to say, we don't know. Yeah. Because <laughs> who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs>